Hi again! Welcome back to my channel, The Broken Hearted Homesteader. And today we're going to do something a little bit different, so I hope that you will uh, bear with me as I try to figure out how to do this. Um, I am not a very technical kind of person when it comes to uh, putting cards everywhere and linking things and all of that stuff. So <clears throat> I'm going to put a description in the a link in the description to the hammock that I'm going to be talking about today. And that's about as techy techy as I'm going to get. So if you're interested in this hammock, then you'll find the link down in the description box below. Okay, so today I wanted to do a review about this hammock here. I first saw this hammock maybe eight years ago, maybe a little more and I fell in love with this hammock okay so I it, the hammock is this I'll show you let me show you here it's called the Republic Mach 1 compact framed hammock okay so it has the the stand and the hammock that all comes together and you fold it out and then um, it has a bunch of different accessories that go with it so the hammock itself is just the standard hammock and then um, this kit that I bought came with the screened netting to make the whole thing screened in for the bugs it also came with this amazing privacy screen slash sun canopy so if I go out a little bit and then you can see the entire thing, see? And I was so, so, so looking forward to having this hammock and I've waited and waited and waited for the right time to purchase it. And I'll tell you, I love the idea of this hammock, but this hammock does not work for me in practice. And there's a few reasons for that. And that's why I wanted to come on and share this with you because hopefully it will be helpful for others that might be in the same situation. So if you're looking for a hammock and you don't care about hang angles, right? So when you buy a hammock that does not have a stand, there's something called a hang angle calculator. So that's where you look at how tall you are and the, um, <clears throat> the angle that the hammock will be at in between whatever you're putting it up with, the maybe two trees or maybe another stand. So this hammock does not come with any kind of adjustable hang angle. So it sits very one, like flat, almost like a bed, okay? And <clears throat> as a growing up, up until about I think probably 10 years ago I started sleeping full-time in a hammock and I did that because I found some research that sleeping in a hammock helps people with back pain and I have woken up with back pain every day of my life even as a child whenever I slept in a normal regular bed so once I started sleeping in the hammock all my back pain went away, all of it. I never woke up in the morning with any back pain until this morning. So this hammock arrived yesterday and I was so, so excited to get it all set up. And that's my first area of concern with this hammock. Besides the back pain, one thing I think that most people may not realize when they purchase it is how difficult it is to set up. So it comes with this handy dandy duffel bag, but it also comes with so many other moving parts. Okay, you have bags of things, tent pegs, and bags for um, the fly, and bags for the under, the under quilt all the things, like so many, so many bags, so many different moving parts to this thing. And the instructions that you get 
are very, very minimal. And for people like me who need a little more detail and a little better pictures, this does not cut it, okay? So that's how it comes. And there's no instructions for how to do the mosquito netting or the canopy or any of that. You have to figure that out yourself. So I started last night around six o'clock and I was not finished assembling it until a little after eight. So that's two hours worth of trying to figure this out. Now granted, when I take it apart and if I was going to reassemble it somewhere else, it probably would be much shorter now that I know what I'm doing. However, there are still so many things that you need to attach and all of the places that it needs to attach have to be perfect. So for me, again, only for me, uh, this hammock is not practical for my needs based on that, um, the ease of use and the back pain, which I mentioned. So I zipped up my thing, um, zipped up my screen last night and I went to sleep wa wanting to have a beautiful sleep and I did sleep really well. However, I woke up, like I said, with back pain, which is a no-go, which means the hammock has to go back. There's no, there's no way to fix that. I have to have the correct hang angle or else my back is going to hurt. So uh, another thing I wanted to point out too with this hammock that I love that it has a screened enclosure, but when you're doing up the screen, it is not a simple thing to do with one hand. So you can get it to this part here, and then it starts to bunch, right? And you can't get it. You're pulling and you're trying to get it down. And then it's the same when you want to go undo it. A lot of times it gets really, really bunchy. See, I'm having bunch now and I'm having to struggle to get it to open now without the other hand holding it straight. So that's not a good thing for me. I cannot get it all the way open with one hand. So that's not gonna work either, okay? So that's, the, that's this part of the hammock. So let me show you, as I was laying this morning thinking about my back pain and wondering what to do, um, I thought there has to be a way to accomplish this amazing idea of a hammock, but with my own hammock that I already know and that I already love. I have three of the same hammock and I have literally, let me show you the hammock. I have literally taken my hammock on airplanes. When I go visiting my sister, I take my hammock with me, stand and all, even though it's a metal stand. Let's see, let me show you this one. This is my other hammock that I have been using for 10 years. And it comes with this metal, metal frame, see? And the metal frame is totally adjustable. <clears throat> so that means you can fix the hang of the hammock to meet your needs so that you don't have back pain. So this is a good hang angle for me. So see how it dips a little bit and it provides more, I don't know. It, anyway, I never wake up with back pain in this hammock. Ever, 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 ever. All right, so here's the solution that I came up with instead of this big fancy hammock an easy, easy fix that I think is going to be much better for my application is I went out and I purchased a canopy. Everyone has seen these for sporting events, etc. Here we go. Let me turn the camera around so you can... Okay, see? Just a plain old slant leg canopy. And the other thing I purchased to go with it is this here. And this is a screen, see, a screen wall for a straight legged canopy. So I'm hoping that it will work because I have a slant leg canopy. So hopefully I can make it work even though it's not a straight leg canopy, but I'm hoping these two things. And I will say too, if you were to buy the, the hammock that I already had with the stand, plus the canopy and the screen, you would pay $50 less than this hammock here that I purchased and will be returning, okay? 
So this one runs around 260, 270, and then all in with the, the metal hammock and the canopy and the screen walls, um, it would be about around $230. So that's my two cents for what it's worth. Um, like I said, I want this channel to be about my whole journey into living off grid and learning to um, rely on nature and be outside and enjoy my time. So this is one aspect. Sleep is crazy, crazy important. And with so many chores to do around the homestead, I can't wake up with back pain every morning. So while I think the Mach 1 is a great hammock and probably great for lots and lots and lots of people, just not great for me. So I may do a follow-up video just to let you know how it's worked out once I get the screen walls and the canopy up. So I'm going to put that up in my bedroom above my hammock and then I probably will follow up, do a follow-up video um, a little bit later. So um, that's that for today. I also want to let you know that we just um, got bunnies for the homestead which I'm going to do a video about hopefully soon. We also rescued a little kitten that was abandoned named Squirt and his mommy just uh, for whatever reason um, he was found abandoned with his brother and so my kids have his brother inside the house and I have Squirt out here with me and so that'll be fun videos that are going to be coming up in the next little bit as well. So lots of love to you all. Remember, remember, remember that we have the amazing opportunity. I'm sure lots of you will be going out and being with people on this long Memorial Day weekend. The, at Walmart, the lines are going to be long. Wherever you go, probably there's going to be lots of congestion. Please remember that we have the opportunity to water someone's garden or we have the opportunity to take a hacksaw and slash their hearts to pieces with our words, right? So let's let's practice watering gardens today during this long weekend where there's probably lots of frustration in amongst all the fun that we're planning. So I hope that you will have a safe and happy Memorial Day weekend and I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Lots of love. Bye-bye.